Hey folks, Rob here. And I'm going to be doing a little series here. It's a, going to be a three, uh, there's going to be a few videos in this series, but uh, I have on loan from me, from my brother, uh, three handguns. And uh, two of these handguns are older and he's had them for uh, several years, uh, probably 10 years or better. And uh, um, we're going to take a look at them and... Uh, he has informed me that the, these two older guns have never been cleaned, ever. <laughs> so uh, we may take them apart and clean them for him, uh, put some shots through them and see how they uh, run, and uh, just take a look at them. So what he has here is the uh, Sig Mosquito. Of course, you can see up there, uh, looks like he originally paid... Uh, about $349 for that. So, there's some extra parts in there. But, like I said, he's had this gun for several years. So, we're not so much interested in what's in the box. as We're going to take the gun out. And, we are going to make sure it's safe. There's nothing in the chamber. Now, he said these guns hadn't been shot no great deal. Uh, but he had never cleaned them he, when he bought them new. Uh, they weren't cleaned uh, initially. So uh, we're going to disassemble them and uh, uh, take them apart and give them a little cleaning for him. And then we're going to shoot them. And of course, before I send them back, uh, we'll clean them again. You can see up in there, there is a little bit of stuff up in there around the so this one's have been shot a little bit it's probably it looks like the original grease in there that some kind of hardened grease anyway we're going to give these a quick clean up so you seen there you rotate your lever should have been a little more descriptive yeah it's still got the original original some kind of white lithium grease or something looks like on it so Rotate your lever forward, pull back to the rear, lift up, and let it slide off. So, let's start with our slide here. We'll take a little CLP. Now, I, I, I don't know. I've watched some reviews on these guns, and I, I think they were, they did have some issues. These were supposed to have been a, a uh, scaled-down version of the SIG 226. Um. Uh, Kind of like a training pistol. I think these were produced by GSG German Sport Gun, which makes a lot of these these clones of these popular guns, like the 1911s, the Berettas. About any of these clones you buy are produced by GSG, and I think they may still even make this uh, handgun under the GSG name. I think it's called the Firefly now, uh, but. Uh, so, we'll take a little bit of CLP. We took our toothbrush, cleaned some of that off. Get in here with our rag. Now, I did buy uh, a uh, bore snake. This is the 22 caliber pistol bore snake. And uh, Tools and Targets told me about this. So, I just got this in, so we're gonna we're actually gonna give this a try on this gun. So anyway, let's uh, do a little more cleaning on this, and then we'll we'll put it together. And uh, in the next uh, video on this gun, we'll we'll take it out and shoot it. So I dug out my little small brush here, and we'll get that in there. We'll clean the rails good with this little little nylon bristle brush. Get in here good around all these components in the breech face. Get that CLP in there and worked in. And just give this a good uh, cleaning. I'm going to take my little pick here. Work it down in there and try to get some of this excess CLP out. And this is just a... A cleaning video you guys probably get bored of seeing this but somewhere out there somewhere there may be somebody that picks one of these up used or 
you know, has no uh, experience with the gun, who might uh, this might come in handy for. So anyway, we've uh, we've cleaned all of our area in here. We'll call that good. Um, here's our. As you can see, it's still got some kind of white grease in there. You can see it right there. So anyway, that's probably been in there for years. This particular model doesn't have the threaded barrel like some of them. These are a zinc alloy casting here. So anyway, let's uh, put us a little CLP on here. Now, I have uh, watched several videos on this when he told me he had one and he was going to bring it to me. Uh, let me do a review on it. That uh, I've watched a lot of a lot of videos and a lot of people have had a lot of issues with this gun. Um, I think that's part of the reason why Sig maybe uh, discontinued it, uh, at least with their name on it, because it was plagued with so many issues. But and uh, some people say they only function with the uh, with the highest uh, quality ammunition you can buy. So. And if that's the case, then that's kind of a downfall because, you know, the uh, part of the fun of a twenty two is to be able to shoot it cheaply. And when you have to buy a really expensive, you know, twenty two ammunition in order to function through a gun, it kind of, you know, uh, some of the better stuff. When prices were cheaper, you know, something like Stingers, uh, you know, there for a while I was probably buying nine millimeter. Uh, close to what you could buy a 50 round box of stingers or something like that for so you know you might as well be shooting a nine millimeter now today that's not so much the case but before all this craziness uh what started you know you could buy nine millimeter for under ten dollars a box i was buying the, the steel case stuff for well under ten dollars a box So, anyway, that's just my my outlook on that. So, we're going to try our little boar snake out here. Now this is a 22 pistol, but it still seems awfully long to me. The thing's probably three foot long, which to me is, seems a little, a little long for a 22 caliber handgun. Most, you know, six six eight maybe ten inches uh barrel length is about all the most you'd ever have in a 22. Uh, there might be some occasions like the like the rough rider 16 inch barrel we're going to apply a little bit of clp right here to our our little brushes our cleaning section here we'll put a little bit up here and then we're going to put a little bit on this tail just to lube it up as it goes through. So, this will be our first, this will be my first time using a 22 boar snake. So, boy, she's tight right there. I think it's that tag on the end of it. <coughs> Yeah, I think it's this tag. I may have to cut that tag out. <laughs> Let me grab my cutter and we'll take care of that. So we're just going to take cut this off right up there. That will make it a little less bulky. So maybe that'll be a little easier to pull through and that won't be all bunched up there. Let's run her through one more time. Like I said, he he said this gun had never been taken apart and never been cleaned. And as you could see there, it still had the original white factory lubricant in it. So let's see if that pulling that out makes that any easier. Oh yes. Much better. Let's see if we can get you a shot down the barrel. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. So let's uh, 
wipe her off here a little bit get the excess CLP off of it we don't want it overly and when I ordered my uh, little cleaning my little cleaner thing there I ordered this uh, a bottle of CLP so ordered a little a little four ounce bottle because guys I, uh, I have people tell me you know why don't you do this and why don't you do that uh, the only store I have around is Walmart and if if Walmart don't have it I can't get it so uh, that's that's why people like why don't you buy your ammo uh, here or there won't you buy it online well you know the cost of buying ammunition online is so prohibitive I could go to pawn shops we do have three local pawn shops but the uh, the cost of ammunition there is is about four times what you would pay um, anywhere else uh, there and it ha there's limited availability there also so uh, and they the people say I wouldn't buy this from Walmart or I wouldn't buy that from Walmart well you know it ain't it ain't because I want to it's because it's the only game in town I have to drive an hour to get to the next you know store of any any size any so I'm gonna put a drop just in each rail here and I'm gonna put one drop right here this was pretty heavily lubed so let's put a drop there and make sure you reinsert your your guide rod into this little hole there in the bottom now sometimes these little things can be a booger to line back up so we're gonna try to do it here and maybe and not look like a fool trying to do this oh that went on easy that one's an easy one so we started our guide rod back we brought it to the rear let's see what's holding us let's see why are we not going forward there we go you got kind of pushed down now we can rotate our lever back and we should be good to go this is like a sig 226 just smaller there's your decocker here's your slide catch of course it does not have the magazine in it we're just going to wipe that off. Reinsert our magazine. Here's your slide stop. Does have a decocker. You also have a safety up here. Now, this gun has probably the worst trigger I've ever felt in my life. That thing is like, I mean, literally, that's got to be 15 pounds. Maybe more than that. That's like, you. there's no way you could pull that trigger. This gun does have three dot yellow sights. Good high visibility sights. But that trigger is terrible. Even the single action, you got all that take up. And it's probably still eight pounds in single action. Terrible trigger. <laughs> anyway, so... Let's just put a drop of CLP, a couple drops on it, give it a wipe down, and we'll call his gun clean. And our next video on this gun, we'll be shooting it and seeing what all we can put through it. See how it functions. He was going to do this with me. We was kind of going to do a, but he's out of town, Tennessee this weekend. So. He brought the guns to work last night. We worked and 
that I didn't mention my brother also works with me and uh so anyway guys there's a uh, quick look at the uh, sig mosquito how to disassemble and clean it and uh this was the first of my brother's guns like i said two of them he's had for years one he just bought so it's new and we're gonna give it its first cleaning before shooting so anyway guys thanks for watching the video i appreciate it and until the next one we'll see you later